Today we're bringing a mouthwatering twist to the classic American burger recipe with bringing in a little pizza. That's right, this burger is the perfect combination of two of the best foods in the world. Let's break out those pizza flavors, pair it with some Angus, and make a stuffed pizza burger. I've got about one and a half pounds of ground 80-20 ground chuck. Split it in half there. We're going to split it in half here. What I'm trying to do is make approximately four equal sections. Pound and a half. I'm going to make two burgers. So that should give us about three quarter pound burger before we add the other goodies. Now, I'm finishing up my fourth one there. You can see they're approximately the same size. This one looks a little bit bigger, but it's not going to matter. Now, just going to put a little cavity. doesn't have to be too big in each one. Now, got our last one done here. You can see there it's a close-up shot for you. Just a little indention. Might be somewhere between, I would say, roughly half inch. Now comes the fun time of filling these burgers with your favorite pizza goodness. Right there I've got about a cup of regular old pepperoni. I just took the pepperoni and diced it up. Here I've got some green bell pepper rings. I've got some diced green bell pepper. Over here we've got one jalapeno chopped up. And then finally got a chopped onion. For our cheese, we've got some mozzarella here on the right that I've sliced up. And over here, I've got some freshly ground Parmesan cheese. This is pesto. First thing I'm going to do, just lay down. You don't need a lot. Not even, I would say, between. You can see my spoon here. Between a quarter and a half of a teaspoon. It's already got our garlic in it. Now we're going to lay down little of that pizza sauce in each one. That's about one tablespoon, you can see, approximately, in each one. Now we're going to come in with a mozzarella and a mozzarella. Now I've got just a few green peppers. You put how many you want. A few of those jalapenos. Now I'm going to go with more jalapenos because we like them. A few onions. All right, I like a pizza supreme. And then I'm coming in with some of that, you can see, that chopped pepperoni. In fact, I like pepperoni. So we're going to put a little bit on both sides. Now, you want to come in, lift this up. And what I'm going to do is combine them, just like so. We'll get this one here. Same thing. And now, we'll just go around the edges and seal them up. You want to be careful. We're not using any kind of binder. I don't want to turn this into a meatloaf. Now let's add some seasoning. Just gonna come in with a little dried basil. Sprinkle it out here. Probably not even an eighth of a teaspoon. Just a little on each one. Then we're coming in with some oregano, right? It's pizza. We want those Italian flavors. Got some cracked black pepper. Then we want to come in with a little salt. I've got some lump charcoal. Here I'm adding some oak wood for some great smoke on these burgers. And we'll be cooking indirect, so I'll insert the plate setter. We'll get our burgers on here. 
let the smoke and the grill do its magic. You can see we got our grill running right at 250 degrees. Now these burgers have been on the grill for an hour. Let's check them out. Look at that beautiful color on those burgers. That smoke's been hitting them. You can see the seasoning. A little mozzarella oozing out. I'm gonna come in. That's one. Two tablespoons of pizza sauce. Let's make sure we get two tablespoons on this one. Looking good. Now I'm going to come in a little bit more of that sliced mozzarella that we had. Here I've got some freshly grated Parmesan. Going to let this continue to slow smoke. And let this cheese start to get all nice and melty. Then I'm going to take some of that chopped pepperoni, sprinkle it on that cheese, just like so. We want to make sure we get both of them, right? As that cheese starts to melt, that pepperoni will stick on there. Let's get our lid back down. While these burgers are cooking, let's prep the buns. Two Kaiser rolls here, cut in half. We just want to take a little bit of pizza sauce. Put it on the tops of these delicious looking buns. Just a little. Just a thin layer here. Don't need it to be very thick. I think that looks about right. We're going to come back in. This is the shredded Parmesan. Little layer. Again, doesn't have to be super thick for this. Now you can see we've got them both. And I'm going to come in just a few. These are red chili flakes. If you don't want these, you can leave them off. Then I'm going to come in just a little, not a lot, right? Little basil on each one and finish it off with two pepperonis on top. Oh yes. I'm gonna get those bun tops on there. We'll get our bottoms on as well. Now I'm gonna open this up so we can crank this temp up. I let that grill temp come up to a little over 300. We let them go 10 more minutes. Let's have a look. There's what they're looking like. Tops of those buns, the cheese is all melted. Let's get them off here, plate them up. And there you have it. There's our pizza burgers. You can see the tops of those buns. Let's cut this thing in two. And have a look at it. There's our pizza burger. And in the interest of full disclosure, I've never made this before. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Let's give it a try. I'm thinking it's a mouthful. There's what she looks like. You get the pepperoni, you get the smoked burger. Gotta tell you, it might be better than a pizza or a burger. Hey, and if you like this recipe, check out, I've got a stuffed jalapeno burger down below. Thanks so much for watching.